Sometimes you get the views. Sometimes you don't. This is one of those times you get a view. Not a super far view, but it's definitely an interesting view. Hey guys, <clears throat> a little rough, ready to get a shower. Um, from the Mount Cameron Trail, where it splits off at the AT, is downhill. It's downhill for a while. It's not super steep, maybe a little bit in the beginning, but it's not that bad. But it just goes and goes and goes. Trying not to go too fast because uh, other times I've been through here, I've hurt my knees. Um, not trying to do that. Hoping to get to Standing Bear Hostel and uh, see what that holds for me. Hopefully, a surprise with people. Don't get to see anybody. Uh, basically, the whole time I've been in the Smokies, except for being dropped off at Newfound Gap, um, I saw people from Newfound Gap up to almost Charlie's Bunyan um, it was pretty icy and people were stopping and turning around but I did pass a few people but after that I didn't see anybody until I got to um, I didn't see anybody <laughs> uh, until I get maybe down here to 40 so we'll see what happens and in the beginning I didn't see I didn't even see footprints and the snow. I saw one person that morning and he was a photographer and he was coming back from Shuckstack. So I did see some footprints up to Shuckstack, but after that, nothing human. So it's been nice hanging out by myself, but I think I'm ready to chit chat. I like to chit chat, so. We'll be there in a few hours or less if all goes well. Work on that selfie shot. All right, guys. Thanks. All right, working my way down into Davenport Gap. Um, be out of Smokies even before I was planning to start. And in some ways, I kind of wished I'd waited to start on my date because I was really wanting to experience uh, some of the trail family stuff. Um, Maybe not so much the bubble, but even maybe a little bit just to experience it. But I've already started and here I am. Um, one thing I was kind of hoping for was to be able to come to a road crossing and, you know, see some people set up with some food and drinks or whatnot, but... Yeah, usually when I get to road crossing, most people are looking at me like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> but some people will realize that I'm hiking the trail and talk to me. Um, but anyhow, the one big bonus is um, there's no traffic on the trail, even though my, my phone was saying I had moderate traffic today. I thought that was kind of hilarious. So maybe maybe I'll run into a whole bunch of people here in a little bit, little little trail block, road block. <laughs> anyway, I should be getting to Standing Bear in a little bit, and grab some food, chocolate milk. Yes, chocolate milk. Oh, I really love strawberry milk, but it's not always available. But chocolate milk, yes, lots of calories. Alrighty guys, later.
So what do you think? Should I hitch a ride home? Nope. We're gonna go up here and cross under 40. And go up to Standing Bear. I just passed two southbound hosters, ho hikers. There we go, let's get it, spit it out. Anyway, they were all business. They probably got a little bit of a late start. Uh, but uh, they definitely must stay. So I'm gonna go and must stay. I'm excited. Might even take a shower. Woo! Probably should for other people. <laughs> all right, look here. Ah, uh, yeah, me whining about trail magic. You know what? Somebody cares. Help me get up them steps, huh? All right. All right, having that orange was a great treat. Get my bag on and head on up there. See if I can get some choco milk. All right, guys. Getting closer. It's a pretty trail. It's not super easy, but it is pretty. Right now it's kind of easy. Almost back at the road again. <clears throat> Obviously, I like water, waterfalls. <clears throat> 